Santa Logic and a Kenner Fitzgerald SPAC announced a big new investor today. He is Stephen Mnuchin and his Liberty Stat Strategic Capital. Welcome now, Kenner Fitzgerald Chairman and CEO Howard Lutnick and the former Secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin. So congratulations on your new deal. Let me start with you, Howard, because you were there first in a sense, as far as I know. Tell us about this company, Saddle Logic, and your deal with it, why it's a good investment. Well, we felt, we felt that space... And, and the satellites in particular is really the next coming gigantic market for data. I mean, to have images of the whole earth, data on the whole earth, the amount of decisions that that will unlock and the ability and the economics of how that will unlock was extraordinary. So we found the company Satellogic, it has the best technology. It builds, it, it redesigned every inch of the satellite. It takes 10 times the images of everybody else. I mean, you look at these images, 70 centimeters, Seven, you can count the containers on the ships, count the cars, count the trees, count the number of what's working and what's not working in a solar farm. I mean, it, this, is, this is incredible technology, and I think it just unlocks a vast, vast sea of, uh, of opportunity in marketplaces. And so this was the best technology. And that's why we did the transaction. And just for our radio listeners, we've been seeing on TV some images of some of this remote sensing and how incredibly detailed it is. So, Mr. Secretary, from your point of view, we've talked before about your new fund, the things you want to do with it. Explain why this was such an important investment for you and your fund. Well, David, it's great to be with you. And, and we're very focused on investments where not only can we bring capital, but we can bring our expertise. And we're particularly focused on the technology area, national security, in, in, in other forms where we can add a lot of value. So what we liked about this is great technology, very scalable, very affordable. And the, the combination of having a lot of data with a lot of AI really will enable both very big government markets and, and more importantly, very big commercial markets. Uh, so, Stephen, if I could, uh, listen, when the deal comes up, the deal comes up, you make the deal. But right now, there's a lot of turmoil in the marketplace. Did it give you any pause right now? For example, just today, we're seeing with equities a lot of turmoil because of rate increases. Not at all, David. And as you recall, last time I was on your show, I was commenting on, on, on rate increases. So we, we expect interest rates to continue to go up. We're, we're a long-term investor. Our horizon is generally five years or longer. So we're really not focused on, on where the markets are in the short term. But you know, the opportunity here is with vast amounts of data, we can really analyze climate issues, energy supply, food security, supply chains. So we really believe that this is gonna create all new types of markets with scalable, affordable imagery. Howard, you have a lot of experience in this area, and you know with SPACs, they're sort of the hot new thing. Not all of them have done very well. In fact, uh, overall, the last several months, last year or so, they've actually tended to underperform. Why is this one different? Well, you know, you go into one of the world's great marketplaces, which is imagery from satellites, right? We will be able to finally end the concept of, of climate change, meaning if you can count every tree and revisit the sites all the time, every day. You literally remap the earth every day. So this kind of data, it's such a big market. So the question is, you know, how do you address big, big markets? You know, SPACs in general are a way for people to go public, but it's really about the company. And Satellogic has the best technology. It's launching satellites all the time. It's extraordinary imagery. They can take a video from space of more than a minute of an airport and tell you the brand of plane that is taking off. Imagine that, that, that is just, it is just incredible data that of course, together with the secretary helping us really walk into these great uh, potential clients is going to change the outcome of this company. Great technology combined with a great investor like Secretary Mnuchin, I think this is going to completely change the, the way people view space imagery. Stephen, you've been an investor for a long time, and you know as well as anyone that the moat around the business also counts. Right now, there are a lot of people going into space, including private sector people in the United States. Also, we have people like China and things like that. How do you make sure there's a moat around this business so that you really can make it a good business? Well, the company has very strong patentable technology and has a significant manufacturing advantage. One of the things is the company can really produce these satellites at very, very economic levels. And for that reason, 
Uh, they can sell the data at very economic reasons. So there's a lot of people who are investing in space. I think there's a lot of opportunities in space. We think of this as more of a data company than necessarily just a, a space company. Uh, Howard, finally, I mean, I can't let somebody who knows the market so well go without commenting on the markets right now. Again, today they're down again. We're looking right now, I think, at a fairly volatile 2022, given what we talked about with the secretary about increasing rates. What do you make of the markets and where are the opportunities, where the risks are right now? Well, the, the sort of the market sort of squares with the Fed. You know, the Fed's going to raise rates. OK, we all know the Fed's going to raise rates. So as soon as the market gets there, it, it's going to level out. So I, I think it's going to be a, a short term rocky road for sure. And you're feeling it today. But I think as soon as the Fed gets out there, defines where it's going to go, clarifies how their tightening is going to end inflation. I think you're going to find a, a nice floor. Granted, it's going to be bumpy, but a nice but a nice floor. But, you know, look, for me, the, this transaction today is so much uh, is so much fun because you have a company with great technology. They have a great partner in Secretary Mnuchin coming in and validating the technology, helping the company Satellogic sell. And the concept of really being able to unleash a giant data and, and image market is really so much fun for me that I, I don't think it matters if the stock market goes up or down. <laughs> You're going to see a company like this just perform brilliantly in one of the great markets of the earth, which will be uh, data collected across the globe. It's, it's really amazing because remember, if you can take an image of every square inch of the earth every day, the marginal cost of being able to give it to farmers, to give it to insurance companies, uh, climate change, it, it's very low marginal cost. And that's amazing. Well, that's the kind of deal all of us want. It doesn't matter whether the stock market goes up or down. It still does well. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So one last one to you, Mr. Secretary. We hear a lot about possible policy error right now of the Fed. It's clear they're going to raise rates. As you say, you predicted. You knew they were going to do it. What is the risk of a policy error? And would the risk be going too far too fast or not going far enough fast enough? Well, I just want to clarify. I didn't know they were going to do it. I predicted they were going to do it. But uh, <laughs> what, 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 but what I said is, look, you know, for a long time, the Fed tried to get to 2% inflation and couldn't. Uh, I do agree with Chair Powell's position that he, he said, we're not going to target 2%. We're going to target 2% over time. We then saw a massive, massive fiscal response because of COVID. I think we're most proud of, you know, the CARES Act deals that we did and the impact they had on the economy. And now, you know, we have somewhere between five and six percent inflation. So it's obvious to me the Fed has to raise rates. Uh, they're doing that. And by the way, that's that's a good thing. M many businesses, many investors are hurt by zero percent interest rates. So over a long period of time, if, if we have three percent, 10 years over a long period of time, that's actually still pretty low interest rates. And I think a good equilibrium for the economy. Okay, thank you both very much for being here. And once again, congratulations on that Satellogic deal. It's, it's Stephen, CFV, David. Sorry? The, name, the symbol is CFV today. It'll be called Satellogic in about a week, but it's CFV today. Fair enough. I'm glad you clarified that. Thank you very much to Howard Lutney and also, of course, former Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. Thanks for being with us.